Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This will just be a quick one regarding the Macefit GTR 3 Pro. We'll be doing a blood oxygen reading on it and comparing it with the pulse oximeter that we have here. See how close the readings are. Right, now we've got the watch on. Um, we'll do a quick reading. Let's go to blood oxygen. Says we're tightly and remain still during measurement. Right, blood oxygen says ninety-nine. On the meter, says ninety-nine. Let's take another reading. Right, it's gone down to 97 and the meter says 99 still. Let's just do a third test. Right, it says 99, that says 99. Um, when it works, it looks like it's pretty accurate, but it can give you slightly different readings to the meter itself. Like the um, Foster Gen 6, it doesn't actually show my heart rate. On the Galaxy Watch 4, when you do the blood oxygen, it comes up with the heart rate also. So um, let's do another test, but this time we'll see, we'll compare the heart rate measurements. Right, the heart rate is 87, that's a 74. Let's try that again. As you can see, that's a 78. And that's an 80. It's a bit closer. It actually gets the reading quicker than the meter. Uh, let's try one more time. Right, nice and 87. Yeah, heart rate's not really, not really accurate. Yeah, heart rate is definitely not, not that accurate at all compared to the blood oxygen. Heart rate seems to be a bit off. Let's do one more. Yeah, so the heart rate is a bit, it's a bit off. It says 70, this one says 79. Yeah, heart rate's a bit off. So um, it's not that accurate for the heart rate, but it's um, pretty close for the blood oxygen. Right, that's it guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.